What's up, YouTube? Showing you my other Jake Hackert poker. I'm gonna break this in. And I wanted to do a small response to a, a video I watched of Joffrey the Giant last night when I was at work about why guns make him nervous. It's not the guns, it's the people. And if you guys haven't watched his video about his crazy neighbors and all the drama around him, it's like that here too. I live right outside of a uh, poor low budget community and there's just no responsibility redneck idiot kids lazy they don't want to work for anything they want to steal everything and uh... i was a victim several times uh, just loaded the uh, poker with some Northwoods. Let's get this going. I lived in my house for uh, 12 years. Bought this house in 1999. When I was, I don't know, 21, 22, because when I was a younger man, I figured, why do I want to waste money on rent? And houses back then were so cheap. I was like, well, I'll figure some way to pay the mortgage. And I bought a house. Been there ever since. <clears throat> But, uh, in the years I've lived here, I've had, uh, uh, about four different occasions of people wanting my stuff. And I don't get it. It's just stuff. You know? If my house burned down tomorrow, yeah, it's gonna be sad. But it, there's... It's just stuff, you know. I can work and get all this stuff again. So, I had a couple guys try to break in this garage window, try to break into the garage door. Somebody did break in my truck, and, uh, you know. Joffrey explained that he just uh, purchased a gun and he didn't shoot a gun until he was 30, early 30s. Uh, I probably got a gun when I was 21. I got a concealed weapons permit. Uh, learned how to use it. Learned the responsibilities of owning a handgun. And shoot frequently. I'm not, I'm not a bad shot. I got a couple silhouettes that... Uh, It'll uh, back me up, but uh, that part uh, I'm not worried about, you know, but uh, my father now lives with me, taking care of him. Uh, my girlfriend lives here, and I work nights every other month, so yeah, I'm worried, you know. It's my job to protect them, <clears throat> and uh, you know, I think about it all the time. last occasion was I happened to uh, you know be on the life of night schedule and uh, three four o'clock in the morning I'm awake it doesn't look like anybody's awake here all the lights are off but I'm doing stuff and I in my living room and I can hear my door to the garage moving like the handle moving and it was locked <clears throat> and I ran over and 
tippy toe to the door, and I saw it moving, and right there, I mean, I don't care how much of a badass you think you are, at that moment, your, your adrenaline's gonna be pumping, your heart's gonna be pounding, and you're gonna be scared. And, you know, and I was panicking, you know, what am I gonna do? And, you know, I thought I'd been preparing for this. And, uh... <clears throat> I, uh ran and got my gun and then uh, decided okay well I'm gonna do this and I had everything ready and I opened the door and as soon as I opened the door it was a uh, you know young colored kid probably 17 years old somebody probably bet him or he, you know I have no idea why he was in my garage but my 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 uh, garage door that goes to the backyard uh, must have forgot to lock it like an idiot but uh, he saw me and man he was ten times scarier than I was and he took off and uh, I ran out in the backyard and, you know I didn't shoot him but I shot some uh, threatening rounds towards the ground just to let him know don't come back here next time he won't be leaving and uh, at that time I had a Glock uh, it was a 26 uh, I was like well I thought about it and I got a 50-50 chance in the dark if I'm gonna hit him you know it's gonna be a luck shot so Joffrey got a uh, Smith & Wesson here goes a 357. Good gun. Shot one. My dad's got a Widowmaker. But uh, let me show you what I bought and built. I pieced it together. And uh, this is a uh, one shot stop. You break in here, you're not leaving. 